electrify urban waterways. Climate experts say we must reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by at least 45% over the next 10 years to avoid the most harmful impacts on climate change. Transportation, or how we move people and products, is one of the biggest drivers of CO2 and harmful local air emissions. So our cities need modern solutions to address an ever-growing population and the increasing energy consumption in the transportation sector. We need to act and look for the best alternative solution to combustion engine pollution. If we haven't used water that much as a mean transportation, think about Amsterdam, the canals were really a way to move things around. Today, you know, the tourists move, but you know, they're not used as they were used in the past. We've spent so much time uh, as a team, so that's both AMS but also MIT, to make uh, robots a reality. But the potential for robots uh, has to do with its unique feature, and that is the autonomy, so that the boat can self-navigate without the need for a skipper. And that opens up uh, a whole wide range of options and new use cases, which were not possible uh, with, with regular boats. And I think that if we develop new type of uh, boats, new type of vehicle, different form factors, smaller ones, autonomous ones, then we can go back to use uh, this incredible connective tissue that we got uh, in our cities. And you know, that would be interesting, it would be a new experience and hopefully a more sustainable city where we can, you know, make use of uh, now and a new asset. is allowing us to get to level five autonomy, to full autonomy basically today. And that's because we're moving a bit slower on the canals. In Amsterdam in general, you know, the speed is less than with a car. Uh, and then the complexity of the environment is also less. So somehow there's a big opportunity here that actually self-driving boats could become the first level five on the planet, you know, not in the air, but then on the planet, um, uh, vehicles. And I think that's quite exciting. The city of Amsterdam has made it very clear in 2025, no more internal combustion engines on the canals of Amsterdam. So all uh, boats need to move towards an electric drivetrain. And this was a very obvious choice for us for a full electric uh, battery powered drivetrain. Electric mobility on the water is the way ahead for a clean, healthy and sustainable future, so let's do this change together.